Okay, we now welcome on our very good friend, uh, future Hall of Famer, which we can talk about. It is Julian Edelman, fresh off retirement. I think we're the first show he's doing. I'm just going to say we're the first show he's doing. Uh, it's great to see you. We also, uh, Jules, we got uh, a little news about what he's got going on next, which is going to be great for him. Uh, that will actually be released on our Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere, because it can't be released uh, until a little bit later on Wednesday, but we're excited for that, so we'll have that for everyone. But Jules, great to see you. Congrats on a retirement. How mad are you at us? for asking you about retiring when you were totally thinking about retiring last time you were on in January. Not at all. I mean, when you that come sucked. on the show, when you come on here, you know nothing's off off the table. And um, I was just laughing in my head like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> you, it, so you back, knew. So you lied to us. Yeah. I did not lie to you. I just, I was, there was, there were two roads that I were I was looking at. One was you know, plane and one was not. And I tried to go down the plane road and it just, I couldn't do it. I can't do it right now. Looking, you know? looking back, I do feel a little bad because I think if we had like thought about your reaction a little more, it was clear that you're like, what the fuck? Like wh who have they talked to that? This is even maybe on the table. So I apologize for that, but a great, a great career nonetheless. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I joked about the Hall of Fame, but it's obviously not a joke. Are you? Do you see any of that shit? Like, do you see the debate? Because I got mad for you that people were diminishing your career just because they were framing it in a Hall of Fame and not just he was really fucking good. I mean, you you, you see it out there, yeah. You definitely see it. Um, but it is what it is, you know. Are you guys gonna make the podcasting Hall of Fame? Ooh. I don't know. It's tough to say while we're still competing right now. We're I just know, but it, one day at a time. Relations, you know, are you guys systematic podcasters? I don't know. Ooh. You know, do you guys are, is it because of, you know, you know Dave's going to come over here and he's the guy that's, you know, started this whole thing. I, I don't know. Right. These like, are all the types of the questions that I ask when I think about, you know, I think you guys are hall, hall of fame podcasters. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we might send Billy down to Tampa for a guys, year and then can might, we do it without him? Yeah. You know, you guys, when the moments are the, the toughest, I've always heard the best takes come from you. Thank it, you. When, when someone needed, when someone when you needed a take, in an absolute moment. <laughs> but does it? Take. But Julian, does it matter that as podcasters, your stats uh, aren't there? Your stats aren't there. Yeah, so, so like, the stats are not there. If you look at the, you're not Howard Stern. I mean, we're not there. Right. But you know what? The takes are there. Right. So if you look at the the, the longevity. Right, stat like Howard Stern's a great example. He compiled a lot of stats because he had a super Over super a long career. But there are moments that it was big, like right around the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. uh, later on in the season. That's when Big Cat, me and Hank could be counted on to really step up. And sure, you know, we we only you know we had some injury issues. We both had kidney stones. Yep. we've missed some shows here or there. But do you think that that should be counted in judging us in the Hall of Fame? I'm a guy that you know. When I go to do something, I just go to win, and I just want to win. I, I, I didn't grow up thinking about a Hall of Fame. I didn't grow up about – I grew up thinking about hosting a Lombardi trophy. So, like, to me, I, I really don't know. But, you know, me to you guys, I, I, you know, I think of, of all the, the things that you guys have done, I mean – there's a lot of great things there. Can you tell the story of podcast without you guys? I can't. Ooh, I Dude. cannot tell the story of podcast without you guys. So and he, here, I mean, I don't want to toot our own horn, but we're not going to quit podcasting because we like bump our knee a little bit and get a little owie. Yeah, but I mean, say you guys take a little too much Adderall, you're, you're <laughs> skinny, you know, you, you, you're walking down and you slip and you hit your head and, you, you know, you can't think as well. I don't know. Would you, uh -huh. would you want or would you, would you want to go out on top? Would you right. guys want to go out? I don't know these questions. I'm just, this is theoretically speaking. Yes. So what about if like, if Hank suffered an incident or if, if Liam got hit by another car, God forbid, and he wanted to get back into podcasting and he thought that the best way to get his brain back maybe he would take a little performance enhancing drug to be able to rejoin the show to come back and win another title do you think that should be held against him in his hall of fame resume you know what that's a tough one that's a tough one 
I would say no. Mm-hmm. I would say you want to be out there with your guys. Yeah. Hey. No days off. You want to be out there with your guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. What? Um. So, F. You you're retired. You are retired. I'm but how retired. long? How long do you think? How many years do you think uh, you'll be rumored to be going to the box? Because Tom Brady's going to play for ten more years. So I'd assume your name will be floated out there every single year that they might need an extra weapon. How many years? I don't know. Uh, probably as honestly, probably as long as he's playing. It's just yeah. going to be. It also it depends on the thirst level. If I'm throwing out a couple of thirst traps out there, I'm looking like I'm in shape. I mean, it, it could go crazy. Uh huh. If got if if like something happens and Scotty Miller sprains an ankle, your name will be trending within five seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Completely different player, but I, yes. Right, but you know, you get it. Did you see the uh, the video that was out there of uh, of Belichick? When you returned your first punt for a touchdown and Wes was on the sidelines right next to him and Bill asked him, hey, you know who Wally Pip is? He's the guy that got replaced by Lou Gehrig. And then Wes Welker was like, yeah, well, he can have the punt return job if he wants it. That's fine. Did Bill ever say anything to you like that when Gunner first got on the field? No. Never. (laughs) Did he look at you differently? Mm, No. He's like, this is an old hat. Would like, you? We don't need this. Would you have said? I, I don't know, man. I I was always in Gunner's corner. You know, I've always been Gunner's. You know, I I give Gunner all my tips, and you know, it was kind of like, you know, I would compete again. I'm still competing against him, but like, you know, we're different different parts of our career. Then, you know, I'm, I was 12 years in when Gunner got in, and or 11 years in, and that was when like West was like seven years deep, and he yeah, had it still going. So. You know, it was it was different. We also had a different relationship, me and Wes. It wasn't the same as, and and Bill probably saw that. Right. He probably was, you know, digging at him a little just to to get out under his skin to try to get him to play his best. That's what mm-hmm. Bill does. He gets the best out of guys. So yeah, you should root for Gunner because I I'm pretty sure Gunner's like next two years count for your Hall of Fame career. <laughs> just like everyone just combined Wes Welker's last few years with your career, so you should be rooting for Gunner. Because we enough years go by and everyone be like, yeah, that, yeah, he was sick that 2021 year with Cam Newton. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We will see. All right. Uh, so you brought up thirst trapping. I know a lot of times, like guys will say, "Oh, I'm gonna miss the locker room." Will it be thirst trapping that you miss the most? Because I would imagine your body's not gonna be in great shape. I'm. I... <laughs> you know. The... <laughs> A good old thirst trap definitely holds a spot in my heart. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like it's between number two and number three Lombardi. It's like one, your first one, your last one, thirst trapping, then your middle one. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I would say that this might actually help your thirst tra- trapping career because you get to focus on all the glamour muscles that you might not have had True. as much time for when you were, you know, just getting a football shape. Yeah. You know, it's the running. When you run a lot, that's what that's what keeps you cut. And when you can't run, I don't know. This is gonna this is whole new territory for me, guys. I if I come out here in like six months and have full dad bod, Ooh. and I'm, that's gonna that's be what bad. I'm rooting for. Yeah, I'm, I am I'm absolutely not, rooting. I want to see you get fat, and then we can make fun of you, and then you can get thin again. Yeah, that we'll would be bully the, you. Yeah, that'd be the best that's cycle. Kinda, that's a, that's like like that's America's story right there. You know, get someone down, and then yep. root, them, cut them down, and get them back up. Let's that's do podcasting it. Podcasting one hundred and one. What yeah. what is your knee like at just in general of like walking pain? Are you going to the gym? Like you have to. I mean, we can't have Julian Edelman get fat. I, as no. much as I want to, you know, you gotta be out there. Doing like, hey, happy Father's Day. Here's a picture of me shirtless. Hey, happy Mother's Day. Oh, here's a picture of me shirtless. You know, like that That shit has to, hey, ha- Merry Christmas, guys. Happy oh, whoops, y- is me yeah. at a pool. Happy Yom, my- Yom yeah. Kippur. Yeah, right, right. Um, But, uh, yeah, we're going to keep, we'll keep some stuff going. Hey, you know, we got a, we got a workout routine going. And uh, my knee, I mean, it's just, it's different, you know, like it's, it's, it just doesn't function the way it wants to, you know, when, when you're bone on bone and you're missing things in there, like you don't want to run. <laughs> so right, right. It's one of those things where you not only don't want to run, you really can't. So finding a way to fill that void 
is going to be, um, you know, my next life work. You need a hobby. We my, need to, we need to figure out what your hobby is because I mean, you've told us so many times, like what your workout routines would be like, how, like you would be, you, it's like cliche to say the last person out, but you would be working out all the time during football season. You need to fit, find a hobby that can fill that void. Might I suggest Frisbee golf, disc mm, golf, excuse mm. me. Do you, you have to walk it? Yeah. Bang chains, baby. I mean, let's see. Let's see how the shoulders are with the rotator cuffs. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll get, get into that. Ooh, those are bad too. So buddy, right. we're, we're 13 surgeries deep right now. Ooh, we're 13. Yikes. Did, so. Again, I mean, I'm not saying like PFT uh, had surgery on his foot. Uh -huh. I got bit by a dog. We didn't quit, but whatever. That's fine. That's hey. your prerogative. That's fine. No, I have a serious question though. Uh, so obviously it sucks having to retire, having the end of the road, but is it a silver lining? Like you just know you can't do it instead of, uh, I'm, I physically can do it, but I'm not the same ability that I was. Cause I feel like that would be hurt more if you were physically feeling okay to do it, but just weren't as quick or shifty. This is really like, Hey, it, it can't happen. Like I can't, my knee cannot do it. No, it, it, it's almost satisfying because I left everything on the field, honestly. Like, you know, I'm not a greedy guy. What else do I have to play for? I, I, I set, set out to go out and, and make a team, try to win some championships. And honestly, I, I've accomplished everything plus more than I ever thought I would have going into my rookie year. Like, I, 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 if I were to my rookie year look on to my career and say, this is what it's going to be, I would, I would, you would have, I would have said, no, nah, no shot. Right. Just, that's how much work I had to put into this whole thing. And, you know, it, it's something where I'm proud of my career. I'm proud of everything. I'm proud of the, the relationships, you know, the teams I've been a part of. And, you know, it, 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 father time is undefeated. And, you know, that, that's just how it goes. And I'm not going to go out there and try to play on something where, you look like a bobblehead out there, like a 36 year old old guy put lacing up the knee brace, the back brace. You know, I don't, I don't want to have that. I don't want to, I don't want to look like that. I respect the game too much. It's been too good to me. So, you know, it's one of those things where if I can't go out there and be the, the player that I know I am in this league and that I've been for, you know, a consistent period of time, you know, I have no problem walking away because, you know, I enjoyed the time that I did have in this league.